Smoking girls, them red or white wine sipping weed, smoking girls. The pretty lipstick, thighs, fat ass. She don't even go to class and she dance cause she open girl. Now you wanna go and get it twisted, I ain't open girl. I just wanna get you wetter than the ocean girl. So what you had it is it fun? Make sure you just don't curse like every other thing. Curse every other sentence. <laughs> like if you still, if you just start like cursing like Right after you tell them, I'm like, yo, B, you kind of offended me right now, and I curse a lot. So I was talking to OK behind the scenes, and he was rushing to the maximum max. Right? And, and the way that he rushed toward it, I was like, yo, B, are you gonna, are you gonna beat off? Like, that's my beat off. That's the way I. Okay, look. Hey, what? Chef. Like, oh, um, yeah, that's that game. Yeah, I'm telling you. Whatever, let's. So, what, what is your. If you have the Mary of video, video fixing right now, a mess with one right now, not Mary. Who would you mess with? About throwing rings on fingers and video fixings and all that shit. I, mean, I still got a, a special place in my heart for Vita Girl, you know what I mean? Yes. You know what I mean? She, she's timeless right there, you know what I mean? So shout out to her. I'd have to, I'd have to still, you know what I mean? Put in the word to her. Because you see, like, when you become famous, you have to wipe up like a stripper or something. That's the way I see it. <laughs> all that like, propaganda and all that shit. Yeah, man. Like, I'm going after um, Carmen. Damn it. What's that um, porn, sir? Carmen? Yes. Whoa. Oh, calm down. <laughs> You're not part of her too, are you? <laughs> She's light skinned, but her twatties are so dark. It's so disgusting. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. She got the good. Whoa. Lacey Duvall does it for you? I mean, yeah, she's smooth. She's smooth, but you know what I mean, I'm more of a um, loosey tie type of guy. Loosey tie? Yeah. yeah. Asian? Yeah. yeah. She's like, whatever. Okay, so how many big saves do you have? <laughs> Um, right now, I got two out. One I dropped in 09, one I dropped last year in December. And now I'm working on a new project called Rookie Season. And how's Rookie Season going to be different from the other two projects? Rookie Season, it's more personal, you know what I mean? Like, Music Monday was um, more of an exhibitional type of project. And Your Love Smells Like Money was more of a conceptual project. And Rookie Season is really going to focus on me telling people about who I am and where I came from. And, and you come I came from Southside Jamaica. Like, Southside Jamaica, but Queens, you but moved I, there. Yeah, from BK from Flatbush. You know what I mean, I was born out in Flatbush. When I moved to uh, Southside when I was about 12, 11, 12, like that summer. But so, like, well, were you rapping before you actually, like, were you rapping at like 12? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was rapping. I've been rapping since I was like 10. You know what I mean? Since I was at elementary school. I started rapping about fifth grade. So when you moved, so like, how, how was that? It was cool. Usually it was for entertainment, just to entertain, like, you know what I mean? My uncles and stuff like that. That's why I got about, a lot of I'm talking about like your subject matter in like the fifth grade. Oh, it was really just talking about, you know what I mean? People I admire. You know what I mean? Styles and stuff I admire. Because around that time it was uh, like the Native Tongue movement. Yeah. And a lot of big. You know what I mean? So I would just rap about things I wanted to do and, you know what I mean? Who inspire me and stuff like that and things I wanted to be, you know what I mean? So I don't know, man. Like, like these third graders now, I was a teacher. I was a teacher's assistant. Yo, they talk about sex, man. <laughs> so I was asking you about, yo. Like, I remember I was, like, a teacher assistant for, like, a first, like, a second grade, yo. They're like, yo, hey, Edward, you ever had sex? I was like, are you kidding me? Damn. That's the reason I was asking you about your subject matter, and I was surprised when you said, oh, I wanted what I was trying to do. Yeah, nah, because when I was 10, Trey Songz wasn't out yet. See what I mean? <laughs> so that's probably why I was When you were 10, R. Kelly was out, and he's yeah, pretty I mean, bad. R. Kelly's, R. Kelly's, his style was a little bit more, you know, focused on innuendo, you know what I mean? Like, nowadays, these niggas just tell you shade up, like, girl, I eat it. In front of your moms, you know what I mean? Like in a song. Who's saying that? Is in that you? Song. Nah, nah. These are all cats, you know. What is that from your new song? You know what I mean? song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little, little something, little, little something raunchy. You know what I mean? But nah, I don't play. Okay, you play. So what's the next song you like to play? Oh, uh, we about to get into uh, this is a special joint right now. You know what I mean, shout out to Half Amazing, shout out to Ski Beats. This joint things change. You know what I mean? I let it speak for itself. Throw that right Hanging there. out with Ski Beats. <laughs> Shout out going to, to going to Japan and stuff. Hey, I'm trying, man. It's doing it steady. Okay, so let's get into this. Things change. You know what, Kane? Things change.